Right, so today we're going to continue our discussion in fluid flow in pipes, but this time we're going to talk about the head losses in pipe flow. There are two classifications of head losses in pipes. So first we have the major head losses, which is caused by the pipe friction along with the sections of the pipe of uniform diameter and uniform roughness. So on the other hand, we also have the minor head loss, which is caused in changes in the velocity or the direction of flow or are commonly known as the kinetic energy of the fluid. So if you still remember, the formula for the kinetic energy is V squared over 2G. So that will be the one that we will encounter if we are going to talk about minor head losses. But today, what we're going to talk about first is the major head losses. We have three formulas so that we could compute or evaluate the value of the major head losses in fluid flow in pipes. First, we have the, the Darcy Wayback formula. Second, we have the Manning's formula. And last, we have the Hazen-Williams formula. So, but first, let's talk about the Darcy Wayback formula or what we call the pipe friction equation. So, these are the formulas that will be using in Darcy Wave format. So for the head loss, that, we, that will be H, H sub F is equal to FL over D multiplied by P squared over 2G, or if you still remember, this is the kinetic energy over KE, okay? So in pipe, if it is circular, so V squared over 2G should be equated using the formula of V is equal to Q over A. So we could operate this equation, or if you still remember, we operated this one or simplify this one using or in our equation in Bernoulli's energy equation or continuity equation. So it will yield to this one 8Q squared over pi squared G d to the fourth. So that will be FL multiplied by 8Q squared over pi squared gd to the fourth multiplied by d, or if we're going to simplify this one using the values of SI units, assuming that g is 9.81 meter per second squared and pi is 3.14, so we could have this equation that zero, that head loss for the Darcy Wayback is 0 0.0826 multiplied by f by l by q squared over raised five. So take note that the value of D here should be in meters and the value of Q on the other hand should be cubic meter per second. Okay, so L also in meters and friction factor or F is a dimensionless unit. So these are the uh, unknown or known values that we have. So as I have said, F is the friction factor, L is the length of the pipe in meter, D is the diameter of pipe in meter or feet. So if the equation that I've been presented to you is in SI unit, and if the givens are in English, you have to convert it first in SI. So we could use this direct formula 0.0826 FLQ squared over D raised to 5. Okay? So again, D is pipe diameter in meter or feet. D is equal to 4R if it is a non-circular pipes. Even if it is a circular pipe, we could also still use the D is equal to 4R given that R, or what we call the hydraulic radius, is equal to the area over the perimeter. So take note that using this formula and the other formulas presented to you a while ago should be coincide with the units that have been used or presented to you by the formula itself. For example, the Darcy Weibach formula for the head loss, which is 0 0.0826 FLQ squared raised over D raised to 5, is in SI unit. So if you don't want to use this one, direct formula for the SI, and you want it to use in a general sense or general equation, you could use the second one, which is FL over D multiplied by, multiplied by P squared over 2G, or this is 8Q squared over pi squared gd to the fourth, okay? So V is the mean 
mean or average velocity. Again, if you use the formula 0.0826 FL2 squared over d raised to 5, it should be in meter per second the velocity, if you're still using the velocity, or feet per second. And QHC discharge, so well, it could be meter cubic meter per second or feet cubic per second. Okay, so those are the known or should I say values or variables in relation to the Darcy Weibach formula for head loss. Now, the next question is how are we going to compute for the friction factor? So, if you still remember, in fluid flow in pipes, we have two types of flow or major types of flow. We have the laminar flow and the turbulent flow. So, let's start with the laminar flow. The value of F, our friction factor, in laminar flow, you see in the Darcy Weibach formula, is 64 over RE, or if you still remember, RE or Reynolds number is equal to VD rho over mu. Or therefore, in this formula, 64 over RE, or it will be 64 mu over VD rho. Okay, so how it, for the head loss, no, using the in laminar flow in Darcy Weibach formula, it could be equated to 32 mu LV over rho G D squared. Okay, or for circular pipes, given that your pipe is, uh, with the area of pi r squared, okay? So assuming that our area is pi r squared or pi d squared over four, so for circular pipe, substituting this now with the equation that p is equal to q over a, we could arrive in this formula, 128 mu lq over pi rho gd to the fourth. So remember, if you're going to use this formula, make sure that your pipe is really circular or given in the problem. So how would you know that if it is circular? So the diameter should be given or the radius of the pipe. If not, still you still use the d is equal to 4r or the diameter is equal to 4 multiplied by hydraulic radius. What is the hydraulic radius? Hydraulic radius equals to the area over the perimeter. Okay, that is for laminar flow. Okay. So on the other hand, we have the turbulent flow. So for turbulent flow in smooth rough pipes, universal resistance loss can be derived from this one. So if you still remember the formula that uh, we presented, uh, we, we've studied before no, in shearing stress in pipes. So we could use this one, the friction factor is equal to eight shear stress in the pipe or tau sub O, it's a mean on the walls of the pipe over rho p squared. Or you could uh, we could compute that you now by substituting the values of the what of the rho p squared in terms of what the shear velocity. No, I still remember that that is eight multiplied by the shear velocity squared over the mean velocity squared. Okay. That will be equal to the friction factor. Is it a dimension dimensionless unit? Yes, because in the second one, no, they are both in terms of meter per second. This one, the shear stress equals to but this is equal to Newton per square meter. Rho is in kilogram per cubic meter, or we could convert it directly, no, to to Newton, or should I say the shear stress in Newton could be directly computed into kilogram, so in terms of kilogram, and then the V squared, no, the meter per second. So it will be canceled. No, the units will be canceled. That's why it is still a dimensionless unit. Remember that V sub S here is the shear velocity that we that is the same that we compute no for from our last meeting or the start of this lecture three. Okay. So now we have also in turbulent flow, if it is smooth pipes, wherein the Reynolds number is between 3,000 and 100,000. So it is a turbulent flow, or what we call the blast, blast shoes or blast shoes formula. This is 0.316 over Reynolds number raised to 0.25. Okay? This is the friction factor 
for smooth pipes having the renal number between 3,000 to 100,000. Okay. We also have this one for rough pipes, no, specifically for rough, rough pipes, or in our delta T is less than 0 0.3 epsilon, or what we call the Karman equation, that is 1 over square root of F is equal to 2 logarithm of D over E plus 1.14, wherein delta T is equal to 11.6 multiplied by the velocity over the square root of shear stress or tau sub zero on the worst of the pipe over rho. This is for rough pipes having this kind of uh, scenario or situation. By the way, the value of E presented here or the uh, epsilon are what we call the roughness coefficient. Okay, so it will be given to you in the problem. Okay, on the other hand, so uh, this delta T, okay, this delta T is what we call the, this one, no, the nominal thickness of the visual sub layer. Okay, that is for the formula that's been given to you. Okay, for rough pipes. Now, we have also for both smooth and rough pipes. So, Bisabihin, this one, assuming that you know, the scenario could be smooth and rough. Okay, so we have the Colbrook equation. So, it's almost the same with the first equation that, was, that has been presented to you. So, in this one, you no, know, but if you're going to notice, you no, know, the Colbrook equation uses the ratio between E or epsilon over the diameter or the absolute roughness or roughness factor or coefficient over the diameter. Okay, so this is the formula 1 over square root of F is equal to negative 2 multiplied by the logarithm of this uh, equation. No? So that is epsilon over D multiplied by, sorry, over 3.7 plus 2.51 over Reynolds number multiplied by square root of F. Okay, so using this equation, okay, we're going to use the what we call the Moody chart established or plotted by Moody in 1944. So there's a collaboration between Colbrook and Moody during that time. Okay, so in short, you cannot compute exactly the value of F without the Moody chart. Okay, so it's very hard you know, for uh, for the modern times, especially right, right now, if we just assume the value of the friction factor using the body chart, unless it is based on the software ap ap application or algorithm. Okay, so if not, if we will just use ruler or manual method or just observing the chart, you no, know, it it could yield to but errors in the computation. So there's an alternate formula for that that we could that we could use or help us to compute for the value of the friction factor. So this is what we call the Halland formula. So it is an alternate formula of the Colbrook equation. So this varies less than 2% of the Colbrook equation. In short, if you're going to notice, now for example, the value of the friction factor is 0.01. And in Haaland formula, it could be what? 0 0.0098. So there's a 2% decrease you know, in the value, but almost the same, right? So, so if the percent of the equation in Holbrook is 100%, in Haaland, it could be 98 or 99% close to the Holbrook equation. Okay. So this is the formula, almost the same, but the factor multiplied by the logarithm and the decrease in the numerical value of the logarithm is quite different. So that is equal to 1 over square root of f is equal to negative 1.8 logarithm of 6.9 over Re plus the ratio between the roughness coefficient or the absolute roughness over the diameter over 3.7. But this time, this ratio as a whole is raised to 1.11. Okay, so as I have seen or presented a while ago, so 
E is the absolute roughness in millimeters. So that's why the ratio between this and the diameter is a dimensionless and what we call relative roughness. Okay, so sigma sub t or delta sub t rather is the nominal thickness of the viscous sub layer. Okay, that is for Darcy Weibach formula. So there are in let's uh, have a short recap before we jump into Manning's formula. In Darcy Weibach formula, we have this consideration if the flow is laminar and turbulent. Okay, so if the lam if the flow is laminar, we have a specific equation for the friction factor. If it is turbulent, now we also consider the value or the values of the Reynolds number, or if the pipe has been classified into smooth or rough, depending on the equation that will be used. However, now there's an equation or what we call the Colbrook equation that has been used before you know, using what we call the Moody chart. In short, you're going to plot the value of F in relation to the roughness index or absolute roughness or what we call roughness uh, coefficient. With also relative roughness no, in the in terms of the diameter of pipe. But there's an alternate equation, or what we call the Highland formula, wherein this is an equation less than or varies less than 2% of the Colbrook equation. Now, using the Highland formula, by the way, we're going to use iteration for this one. Okay, we're not going to use the Moody chart, but we're going to use the iteration of the values of F so that. We could arrive for the exact or what or, 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 or not exact but close to the exact value of f given its number of iteration. Okay. So if you still remember your mathematics, no, if you're going to or numerical methods, if you are going to iterate values, now if the value is repeating in nature, no, as we compute or progress through the calculation, so that means that is the value for that. Unknown particle. Okay, so next we have the Manning's formula or the Manning formula. So Manning formula is one of the best known in open channel formula and commonly used in pipes as well. Okay, not just in open channel but also in pipes. So that's why Manning formula is best known because it could be on pipe fluid flow in pipe or fluid flow in open channel. So presented here are the velocities, not V is the average velocity using the Manning formula. We have here the SI and the English unit. What varies here is the uh, numerator of the ratio between the uh, R hydraulic radius, the slope S, and the Manning, or what we call the end value, which is the, what we call the, uh, coefficient no, in Manning's formula. Okay, so in SI that is one over n raised to r is sorry one over n multiplied by r raised to two third multiplied by s raised to one half. If it is in a SI unit, okay, so remember remember this one. Okay, and if it is in English unit, this is one point four x eight six over n r raised to two third and s raised to one half. Actually, you could just Memorize one of this. However, you have also, if you're going to memorize only the SI unit, make sure that you know the values of or the counterpart or the conversion factor of those SI units to English units. Okay? If not, you, know, you could use directly this formula. Okay? So if we're going to, yeah, so this is one. So n is the roughness coefficient using Manning. A while ago, we have also the roughness coefficient, or absolute roughness, but it, that is in terms of epsilon. Okay, R is the hydraulic radius, or the same with what we uh, discussed earlier, or the last time, that is area over the perimeter. S is the slope of the energy grade line, which is this. Uh, this is the head loss over the length. Okay, so this is the slope. So therefore, if we're going to analyze this one for example this is the pipe and this is the direction of the flow if this is the slope 
Okay. So, this is the theta. Okay. So, we could have this one, the length of the pipe, and the possible head loss of the between two points in the pipe. Okay. That is what we call the slope of the energy grade line. How are we going to, so to compute for the head loss in the pipe? So, that is pressure sub 1 minus pressure sub 2 over gamma. Given this one is pressure sub 1 and this is pressure sub 2 or otherwise. Okay. Remember that the head loss is positive. Okay. Assuming that you flow from point 1 to point 2 or exiting to another point. Okay. So that is the slope or S. Okay. For the uh, formula of manning. Now, if we're going to uh, compute directly for the head loss, okay, so we have this one, 5.35 and squared L multiplied by the velocity squared over D raised to 4 over 3 or 4 thirds, okay? So for non-circular pipes, use D is equal to 4R, okay? For circular, so we know that V is equal to Q over A and A is equal to pi D squared over 4. No, we could have this formula for the head loss. Okay. Therefore, we could actually the compute for the slope given we have the formula of head loss, either one of those two. Okay. Assuming that it is in SI. If it is not in SI unit, convert it first to SI unit. Okay. And the length of the pipe. Okay. So for circular, so applying the concept of that the velocity is equal to Q over A and a is equal to pi d squared over 4. This will be, this will be equal to 10.29 n squared LQ squared over the raised to 16 over 3. Okay? That is for the money formula. Okay? And the last one, we have the Hazen-Williams formula. In Hazen-Williams formula, okay, it is also used, now widely used, but this time in water works industry. Okay, so this formula is applicable only to the flow of water in pipes larger larger than 50 millimeter diameter or 2 inches. So if this is greater than that, so we could use Hazen Williams. Okay, and velocity is less than 3 meter per second. So we all know that now from the continuity equation, okay, or equation in the discharge that as the area of the pipe increases, the velocity of the flow decreases. Okay? So that's why if it is larger than 50 millimeter, we expect that the flow fluid in pipe will be slower than if it is less than 50 millimeter. Okay? So this formula is designed for flow in both pipes and open channels, but it is commonly used in uh, pipes in network. Okay, so pipes. Okay, so or in pipes. So velocity, we have we both this time in Hazen Williams, we have the English unit and the SI unit. So this one, no, that is the for English, that is 1.318 C sub 1 R raised to 0 0.3 multiplied by S. Uh, sorry, uh, multiplied by S raised to 0 0.54. Or if it is in SI, the same yung kanilang mga coefficient in this one but different numerical value in the front that is 0 0.849 or the factor no so because it has been ano uh converted into si so for the pipes flowing in full or flowing full so we have the formula for the discharge okay so in english no we have the 0 0.432 to c sub 1 D raised to 2.63 and S multiplied by S raised to 0 0.54 or the same as the first one, but it, in SI, it is not 0 0.42. So instead, this is 0 0.2785. Okay, that is for the discharge. Now, we have the discharge, we have the velocity. We could actually compute for the head loss. Okay, so head loss is equal to using the Hazen Williams is 10.67 LQ raised to 1.85 over C sub 1 raised to 1.85, multiplied by D raised to 
given that it is in SI unit. Okay? So if not, convert first the values of L, Q, and C sub 1, or D rather, in uh, substituting it in SI unit formula. Okay? C sub 1 is what we call the Hazen William coefficient. So it depends upon the description of the pipe. Also, it will be given to you in the problem. This is the pipe diameter. Okay. So R is the hydraulic radius. We have we already know this one. And S is the slope of the energy paid line. Okay. So what so before we jump into problem solving, let's have a quick recap on the major head losses. So major head losses. Uh, could be computed using three formulas. So we have the Manning formula. We have also the Darcy Wayback, the first one, okay, formula. And the last one is the Hazen William formula. All of them leads to values of the head loss, but they have different coefficient and constant values to be considered. Okay, so let's have the sample problem so that we could apply the formulas presented to you. Okay. So let's solve in problem 3.8 because we already have up until problem 3.7 last time. Okay. So let's compute this one. Oil having specific gravity of 0 0.869 and dynamic viscosity of 0 0.814 pascal second flows through a cast iron pipe at a velocity of 1 meter per second. The pipe is 50 meter long and 150 mm diameter. Okay. The question is, find the head loss due to friction and the shear stress at the walls of the pipe. Okay. So if you still remember, we have the shear stress formula. Now the head loss given on that problem, so we could actually see the possible equation that we're going to use given on how the problem is presented. Okay? So stated here now that the, prob the problem is computing the head loss due to friction. Okay? So therefore, if it is due to friction, so we have this three equation and from that, from those three, I think we have the possible solution that is in terms of what Darcy Wayback formula. Okay, so let's have our computation. Okay, so it's the blank slide for that. So first, let's compute for the Reynolds number. So remember in Darcy Wayback, we are considering if the flow is laminar or turbulent. So so to compute for the head loss, we have to consider if the flow is laminar or turbulent. Okay, so let's compute first for the Reynolds number. So we have the formula V D rho over mu. Okay, in the problem, velocity is given at one meter per second. Okay, the diameter is given as 150 millimeter or 0 0.15 meter diameter. Okay, so we have the raw. No, if this the flow is oil, no, that is 1000 multiplied by 0 0.869 over mu given yung kanya, uh, dynamic viscosity that is equal to 0 0.0814, okay? Reynolds number, so applying the equation, so we could have the value of Reynolds, Reynolds number as 1,601, okay? So rounded up the to. So therefore, if this is less than 2,000, no, we have this uh, notion, if the value of Reynolds number is less than 2,000. Therefore, this is a laminar flow. Okay. If this is a laminar flow, so we have to compute for the value of F. 
using the Darcy Wayback equation. So F is equal to RE, or should I say 64 over RE. That is 64 over 1,601 or equal to 0 0.04. This is the friction factor. Now, we could actually compute for the head loss. No? That is the one value that we could co should compute. Head loss is from the general formula, FL over D multiplied by V squared over 2G. So given we have the velocity, that is one meter per second. We have the length of the pipe, given that is 50 meter. And we have the diameter. We have also the friction factor computed and the gravitational pull or the gravity. So let's substitute all the values. That is 0 0.04 multiplied by 0. Point, or should I say 50? No, this is 50. That the length of the pipe is 50. So this is 50 but over the diameter that is 0 0.15 multiplied by V squared, no, 1 squared over 2 multiplied by 9.81. Okay. The answer for our head loss is uh, rounding it off to two decimal places. This is 0 0.68 meter. Okay. This is the answer for the head loss. So you could compute it in such a way that you're not rounding off or rounding up in your calculation. Okay. So in this calculation, uh, presented in a manner that uh, the formula or the concept of the formula is the one that is highlighted. But in the in the evaluation of this topic, you should remember that in the equation, you should not be rounding off or rounding up values in between okay so now we have the value of the head loss let's move with the second problem or what we call the shearing stress okay this is the uh, other unknown no that we should solve so for the shearing stress okay so we all know that in the formula that tau sub zero or in the outside wall of the diameter of the pipe that is gamma H sub L multiplied by D over 4 L. Now, what are those values? So, gamma here is, if we're going to use 9.81 kilopascal, your answer should be it. Uh, sorry, kilonewton per cubic meter, that is in kilopascal. If not, this is in newton per square meter lang or pascal. Okay, so let's use 9810. So, so that we could have the answer as pascal or newton per square meter. H sub L here is, but before that, it is an oil with a specific gravity of 0 0.869. Okay, what is H sub L? H sub L is the computed value of the head loss. No? That is 0 0.68. The diameter is equal to 0 0.15 over the 4 L. So 4 multiplied by the length of the 5, 50. So applying the equation, so tau sub 0 to be equal to or will be equal to 4.34 pascal. So this is our rounded up number. So uh, I assume you know, that uh, in your home or your self-study, you're going to compute it in uh, not rounding up or rounding off in between calculation. Okay. So for the sake of time and the concept or highlighting the formulas, so we're going to, or I'm going to round up numbers or round off the values, but for your sake and to practice your, uh, uh, you into details, not to practice you into details. So we're not going to round off or round up values in between calculations in your examination or evaluation. Okay. So now let's move to the second problem. So in the first problem, let's have a quick recap. Okay, we've used in this problem the what we call the Darcy Wayback formula. Okay, this is what Darcy Wayback or Wayback, right? In the if you go to read it as it is, no Darcy Wayback or Wayback formula. So 
Because in the problem, it was stated that there's what we call due to friction. And the formula only uh, having that friction factor is the Darcy Crick factor. But we have to consider if it has a friction, let's first analyze or determine if it is a laminar or turbulent. In this case, it is a laminar flow. That's why we use this formula. Okay, and F is equal to 64 over R. Okay, and then computing the head loss yields us to 0 0.68 or there's a specific value close to that. Okay, and then applying the value of head loss, let's, we, we, are, we are required to compute for the shearing stress. Okay, and that shearing stress is the maximum shearing stress that is outside or should I say, we are in the walls of the diameter of the pipe or the walls of the pipe, okay, or in terms of total diameter. Okay? So now we have the second problem. Here in the second problem, it reads that water flow at a rate of 200 liters per second through 120 millimeter horizontal pipe having a diameter of 300 millimeter. If the friction, sorry, if the pressure difference between endpoints is 200 millimeter Hg or mercury, millimeters of mercury determine the friction factor, okay? So in this case, we know that given our, the, the discharge, the diameter, okay, we have the pressure difference. So what we're asked here is to compute for the friction factor. So applying the darcy Weibach formula, okay, so we have here the friction factor, so we have a direct computation or formula for the Darcy way back, but if it is in SI unit, okay? So in the, in the problem, mohon lahat naman ay naka SI, okay? So aside from the, the discharge, we could easily convert it into SI unit. So if it is an SI unit, that is 0 0.0826, okay? FLU squared over t raised to 5, okay? So where is that formula again, sir? So here is the formula. Yeah, so I just have discussed a while ago. So uh, expressing or simplifying the pi squared and the g when multiplying it in, or should I say, uh, simplifying it into in such a way that it will be in terms of L, Q, and D, this will be the equation. And that is the same equation we are using here since uh, given the diameter, okay, so given the diameter, it's also given the, uh, how do you call this, the length, okay, we also have the discharge, we also have the uh, pressure difference, okay, so going back, so this is the head loss formula, okay, so so we all know that the head loss is also the difference in pressure. So that is P1 minus P2 or pressure over gamma. Okay. In this case, it was stated in the problem that it is what? 280 millimeter of mercury or Hg. That is, we're going to multiply this one by 13.6. So that we could have this in meters. Okay, so remember 13.6 the specific gravity of the mercury. So this is equal to 3,808 meters of water. Why is it that we convert it in meters of water? So that we could apply the equation 0 0.0826 FLQ squared over T raised to 5 since Water is the one flowing here. Now, mercury lang yung ginamit natin so that we could compute for the difference in pressure. So, somehow, it is like in laboratory. Okay? So, since we have this 3,000, or should I say 3.808 meters of water, we could directly substitute in this equation. Okay? So, applying the, this equation, this is 3.808. Remember, it is in SI unit. Dapat lahat ng unit ay naka SI. So, 
0.0826 multiplied by the friction factor. So, yun yung hinahanap sa atin, that is the unknown. Multiplied by the length, 120 meter. Multiplied by the discharge, given the discharge is 200 meters per second, or if we're going to convert it in cubic meter per second, let's, we're going to divide it in 1,000. That is 0 0.2 cubic meter per second, still in SI, over D, oh, sorry, D raised to 5, or the diameter is 0 0.3 raised to 5. Therefore, friction factor, simplifying this equation, is equal to 0 0.0233. Or, if we're going to notice, the friction factor is 2.33%. Okay? So, that's the answer for this problem. Okay? So, it's still a Darcy Wayback formula, but this time, you know, somehow, para Mokashian laboratory, so, we use the Mercury as the uh, measuring liquid in measuring the difference in pressure. Kasi nga, mas mataas yung kanya specific gravity. Okay? So, that is the answer for that question. Okay? So, now let's move with the third problem. Okay? So, in the third problem, so, in this scenario, there's a leak in horizontal 300 millimeter diameter pipeline. Upstream from the leak, two gauges 600 meter apart uh, showed a difference of 140 kilopascal. And downstream from the leak, two gauges 600 millimeter, sorry, 600 meter apart showed a difference of 100. 26 kilopascal. Assuming that the friction factor is 0 0.025, so almost close to the one that we've computed a while ago, the question is, how much water is being lost from the pipe? Okay? So, from this equation, so meron friction, so mukhang alam natin na ito ay magpo-fall sa ating Darcy way back formula. So we're still, we're still going to use the Darcy way back here. But given that it is, it is in pipe, you know, or in pipe which is specific in diameter, so we could actually use directly the equation H sub F is equal to 0 0.0826 FLQ squared over D raised to 5. Okay, so directly substituting this one, no, that is 0 0.0826 given that the friction is 0 0.025. Okay. L is 600 meter okay. over the D, the diameter, which is equal to 300 millimeter, 0 0.3 raised to 5. So H sub F or HF head loss due to friction, kaya yun yun, is equal to 509.876 Q squared. So this is a head loss in terms of Q squared. So a while ago, we all know that head loss also due to friction is equal to the pressure in pipe Okay, so that is equal to given on the problem. So, binanggit sa problem that there's a difference first, no, in the uh, first length of the pipe that is 140 kilopascal. So, therefore, this is for the first pipe, this is 140 over 9.81. Okay, so computing for the first. Uh, head loss, so HF is equal to HF, that is 140 over 9.81 is equal to 509.876 Q sub 1 squared. Therefore, Q sub 1 for the pipe having the length of 600 millimeter and diameter 0 0.3 meter or 600 meters rather for the length, Q sub 1 is equal to 0 
cubic meter per second. So we need this value because the question is how much water is being lost? So the answer could be volume or the amount per unit time. Okay. So first we have the 0 0.167 cubic meter per second for a cube sub one. Now we have the another one. No? So from uh second let of the pipe. So let's uh rewrite the value of H sub F here. This is 509.876. This time this is Q sub 2 squared. And given on the problem, the H sub F is equal to the difference in pressure, or this is in terms of their gamma, that is 126 kilopascal. Okay, 126 over 9.81. So substituting, that is 126 over 9.81 well, equals 509.876 Q sub 2 squared. So therefore, Q sub 2 is equal to 0 0.159 cubic meter per second. Okay. Since we have the values of the 1. Yeah, since we have the values of the discharge, actually we could compute for the uh, amount of water. No, that is lost. So that is equal to from the first flow in the first part of the pipe to the second flow of the second part of the pipe. So let's have let's compute now for the delta Q. Okay, since uh we have the value for Q sub one and Q sub two, delta Q is equal to Q sub one minus Q sub two. So that is 0 0.167 minus 0 0.159, or this is equal to 0 0.008 cubic meter per second. Or if the problem requires you to how much, so if that is in terms of liters because we could quantify it on that manner. It is equal to 8 liters per second. How come? Multiply the discharge in cubic meter per second by 1,000. That will be equal to liters per second. So this is the answer for this problem. Okay. So we're still using the Darcy Wayback formula and we're applying the concept of the difference in pressure. Okay. So that is for our third problem. And now we have the last problem. Okay. Last problem is Oil withdraw is equal to 950 kilogram per cubic meter. That's per cubic meter. And V is equal to 0.000002 square meter per second. Close to 300 millimeter diameter pipe. That is 100 meter long. With a head loss of 8 meters. We are required to compute no, the flow rate given that the relative roughness is equal to 0.000002. So, how are we going to compute with that problem? So, to remember, so we have the two formulas. So, therefore, if this is, if it has a roughness coefficient, therefore, it is either the Colbrook's equation or the Halland formula. So, given that the limitation of the uh, Colbrook equation, no, using the Moody chart, what we're going to use is the Haaland formula okay, from this problem. Why? Because we could easily compute okay, for the values of your head, or should I say, the flow rate. Okay? Mas mabilis siya, no? in terms of computation. This time, we're going to use the Haaland formula. Remember what I've told you that you're going or we're going to use iteration of values. Okay, so kailangan natin gawin yun so that we could arrive on the value of the friction factor. Okay, so if it is in 
Halan formula no for the turbulent flow under the Darcy Wayback no this is Darcy Wayback but the friction factor used will be using Halan formula we could actually use the other one the Holbrook equation but with the absence of the Moody chart and a slight difference of variation of the Values for Halland and Colbrook. We 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 we're going to use Halland formula. Okay, so now let's compute. Okay, so remember the general equation for the Darcy Wayback for head loss. Head loss equals to F L over D multiplied by V squared over two G. Okay, so we have the head loss given in the problem. We have that eight meters. So this is equal to A8 is equal to so given no friction, we don't have that value yet. Multiply by 100 meters over the diameter. Okay, what's the diameter? 0 0.3 or 300 millimeter. Okay, multiplied by V squared over 2 times 9.81. Okay, so this value will give us you no. Know, in terms of f v squared, f v squared is equal to 0 0.471. Okay, so now what we are going to use? Okay, so this time using this equation, we will start our, our iteration. Okay, so maga iterate na tayo ng mga values. So, what is our equation? So, we have the F V squared is equal to 0 0.471. So for friction factor, so as you progresses, if you're going, if you are advanced reading your subject, you will notice that the friction factor ranges from 0 0.01 to 0 0.05. Okay, so in between, it could be 0 0.03, 0 0.02, or 0 0.04. As long as it is, it is within the, the range. Okay, so now, Let's use the middle or the average first. Let's use F is equal to 0 0.03. Okay. So in the first equation, if that is the F, so that is 0 0.03 multiplied by V squared is equal to 0 0.471. V is equal to 3.962 meter per second. Okay. So you see this no in the uh turbulent formula okay or should i say you adding formula in uh using the Reynolds number r e is equal to v d over u or nu that is 3.962 multiplied by 0 0.3 over given yung kanyang dynamic viscosity. That is, 0 then apat na 0 bago 2. So, Reynolds number is equal to yung kapit natin, that is 59,430. This is really a turbulent flow. Okay? So, we have the equation kanina of the uh Halland formula for the friction, okay, the alternate formula. So that is one, one over square root now f equal to negative one point eight the logarithm of six point nine over R E or Reynolds number plus this one. The epsilon over d over 3.7 raised to 1.11. Okay. So let's do the iteration. Okay. 1 over square root na f equal to negative 1.8 logarithm of. So we have the RE 6.9 or Reynolds number over 59,430 
plus given the roughness relativity or relative roughness the 0 point apart from 0 bagu 2 over 3.7 raised to 1.11 okay so f here now if we're going to continue this competition competition we have the value of 0 0.0206 so therefore, we have the value of f as 0 0.0206. So how we're going to confirm if we're going to stop? No, let's have the second iteration. If the value there will be close to 0 0.02, I think we could stop. If we are not sure, we could still go no, in the equation. Okay. So let's have the second iteration of this computation. So now, we have the value of f computed on the first iteration, okay, as equal to 0 0.0206, okay. So applying with the formula, okay, that is f p squared is equal to 0 0.471. So that is 0 0.0206 p squared is equal to 0 0.471. p is equal to 4.78. Okay. So in Reynolds number, that is p d over dynamic viscosity is equal to v 4.78 multiplied by the diameter 0 0.3. Okay, over the u or equal to 0 0.00002. Your Reynolds number is equal to 71,700. So let's look on the first equation. So Reynolds number is 59,000. Okay, so in the second iteration, mas lima ko siya. So therefore, Using the equation, no, same with the a while ago, so Haaland formula. So we're going to compute for the possible value of f again okay, using the second iteration value of f. So that is 6.9 over 71,700. Okay. That is the one that we computed. Yeah. 71,700 plus that is 0 0.0002 over 3.7 raised to 11 or 1.11 rather. Okay. So F here will be equal to so computed 0 0.01 99. So, this is the value of f since halos, ikit naman sila do sa second value of f on the first iteration. Therefore, we could uh, use the value 0 0.0199 because it is close in 0 0.02. Okay, so the difference in uh, velocity, or should I say, using the equation kanina, f v squared is equal to 0 0.471. So that is 0 0.0199 multiplied by v squared. That is walang v squared 0 0.471. Okay, 0 0.471. Therefore, our value of v is equal to 4.865 meter per second. Okay. So we're going to use this value to compute for Q. Okay. Q is equal to A, B. So we have the value of A, that is pi over 4, 0 0.3 squared, multiplied by the velocity. 
4.865. So therefore, the value is 0 0.344 cubic meter per second. Okay? And this is the answer in this problem since ay nahanap lang naman ay yung ating discharge. Okay? So, or what we call the flowing. Okay? So, let's have a quick recap before we end this class. So, we have the head losses in pipes. Okay? And under, the, under that head losses, we have the two losses. So, we have the major head loss and the minor head loss. In major head loss, this is the one that we're talking about, we have three specific uh, formulas. So we have the, the Darcy Wayback formula, wherein this is also called the pipe friction coefficient. That's where we're going to consider the friction. So we also consider if it is a laminar or a turbulent, depending upon the values of the Reynolds number. Next, we have the Manning formula. In Manning formula, we have what we call the Raphael's coefficient in terms of n. Okay, so this one, no, we have, you have to make sure that it is in SI or in English. By the way, the Manning formula is commonly known uh, in pipes, uh, in uh, open channels. Okay, and then last we have the Hayes and Williams formula. So it follows the principle of the continuity equation or the discharge equation, wherein as you increases the area, you decreases the velocity. Okay, so that's the uh, lecture for today. So I